Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Earlier than usual, I don't have my pearls on even. Uh, lounging with Lisa, the video series, and has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I came to give you an update on Zoe, and just forgive the way. I mean, I rolled out of bed. I slept in until close to 9 o'clock, and then I called the vet right away. Because I just remembered something that I had forgotten. Back when Austin died, for those who are new, Austin is the son of Perpetual. I call him my stepson since he really was in our, my life since he was nine years old. And he died at age 25 on April 13. So whenever he died, um, Aunt Liz came up here and stayed for a little bit. But this does tie into Zoe, by the way. And we came back from the calling hours, the one, the only day. Everything's such a blur from that time. But all of a sudden, Zoe was sick, and it was the same kind of thing that she had this time, and it just hit me. I, I don't, you know, I just, that whole time, like I said, is a bit confusing, or things come to mind, or whatever, and Aunt Liz and I took her over to the vet, and the vet gave her a, um, well, she had to take eardrops, because her ears, she has a thing with her ears, they get kind of gross and stuff. We still have the eardrops, and we've been giving them to her, and then she gave her some sort of shot that has a lot of vitamins and minerals and things that she might have been lacking due to the sickness and not eating and all that jazz so it just hit me that that oh dear sorry about the road noise last night it occurred to me that this had happened before approximately three months ago so i went ahead and called amy the vet in linesville and about nine o'clock in the morning about 905 i remember and they said bring her right over so i did and therefore i'm not really um too swift. I barely even had a cup of coffee when I took it with me. So we have returned from there. Zoe's actually a lot better today anyway, but this, I think, there's those birds, um, should certainly help her. And they cleaned her ears, totally. They did it at the mat, which is good because they usually don't. They usually tell us to do it, so she went ahead and did it, which I'm glad. Um, when I worked at an animal hospital in Houston, by the way, back in the 80s, they, we would weigh the animals and clip their toenails and go over them with a fine-tooth comb and do anything like if their ears were gross, we'd flush them out, whatever needed to be done. It was a very thorough, casual exam, even, even if they just came in, I don't know, for something else. It would always be, that was part of the routine. So we're home, we're safe, and Zoe's on the windowsill in the kitchen. She's been eating a lot of uh, kind of liquidy food. I even took the food, a little small food processor, and whipped some food up for her in there and added a little bit of water. But she's drinking and eating, and I think she's going to be okay. That's the bottom line with Zoe. Thought I would give you an update because a lot of you know Zoe from the videos, and she's the older, the 19-year-old uh, Manx Kitty. Um, now, today I'm going to work on the game for Nicholas and Basil. I didn't ever tell you this because, I don't know, it's been a confusing week, and I wasn't sure what was going on. Really wanted to get Zoe taken care of before I thought of anything. It's been, you know, upsetting, of course, ladies and gentlemen, to have um, to not really know what is going on with Zoe. So now I can focus on the game is the point. And what uh, Basil and Nicholas have decided to have agreed to do. Basil didn't really want anything. He has a July birthday. I forget the date right now. Forgive me. And um, so bottom line is I said, how about if I do a combination of you and Nicholas because they're friends in real life. Furl. And um, part of it will be about dogs because Nicholas does a lot of dog rescue in Mexico. It's kind of his own charity, really, even though it doesn't have a name. He runs it himself. He rescues dogs, makes sure they get to the vet, blah, 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 blah. So it'll be like a dog kind of game. And then Basil had mentioned in the chat last week, all I want for my birthday is peace. And so I had a brainstorm after the game. One moment while a vehicle goes by. And I said, why don't we do something where I could focus on peace people? Like, the only example that came to my mind then, of see, peace, and that's coming to my mind now is, um, remember how Eugene Debs, well, you might not remember it, but Eugene Debs went to jail, was actually put in prison for many years, I believe, for protesting World War I, stuff like that. We could do a little trivia on the peacemakers, so to speak, or peace things associated with peace, as well as Nicholas in the dog days of summer. Perfect timing. I'm combining those. That will be the deal on Sunday, and I will get started on it uh, immediately, if not sooner. And, uh, of course, the first thing I have to do is put my pearls on. So, um, I don't think I'm going to film Zell. I'll just leave her be, but later on I might capture her on film. So I'm going to sign off. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join others.
Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler, what he had to say. By the way, it's kind of cold today, and um, that's my, the latest here in Connie at Lake. Time to put on your pearls, anyone who owns them. Bye.